In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create advanced picture-in-picture -picture effects in your videos. You'll learn how to pan and zoom with your video overlays, how to adjust color, and how to keyframe the movement of your PIP windows. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. In this first example, I want to add a PIP window of a man on a nature hike over top of this scenic video. I've already added the background video to AV Track 3. Now I'll drag the video of the man onto AV Track 2 so it layers on top of the background video. First, we'll need to resize the PIP window of the man, and we'll do that by clicking on the video clip on AV Track 2 and then selecting the Scale Mode icon under the Preview pane. Then we can drag on the nodes to resize the window and make it smaller. We can also click and drag the window to our desired position. I want to add a pan and zoom effect to the overlay so it zooms up on the man's face as the video progresses. To do this, right click on the clip of the man on AV Track 2 and select Pan and Zoom. Then select Animated. From here, we can choose from any of the animated Pan and Zoom presets from the drop down menu. But we can also customize the Pan and Zoom. The green frame is where the camera will start, and the red frame is where it will end so I can adjust the nodes on the green frame to adjust the starting point. And then I'm going to click on the end keyframe and adjust the red nodes to be zoomed up on the man's face in the final frame. Then click OK. Now we can press play to preview what our PIP window with the pan and zoom effect looks like with our background video. I want to make some adjustments to the color because the background video is more vibrant than the PIP window on top. So I'm going to click on Editor. Then click on the Color tab to make some adjustments to the overlay color. This will be useful if your overlay clip doesn't match the color tones of your background. For example, if the background is really washed out and the overlay is really saturated. We can adjust any of the color grading controls to ensure both clips match. For this example, I'm going to select the Vivid preset so my overlay better matches my background video. From here, I can play around a bit more with the color grading controls to get a perfect match. And now let's press Play to preview, and you'll see how our videos match much better in color and tone, and we have a nice pan and zoom of the man's face within the overlay. In this next example, I'm going to teach you how to customize the motion of your PIP windows using these clips for a corporate video. We're going to start off with a basic technique by keyframing the movement of the overlay from one corner to another. I have the background track already added to AV Track 3. Now I'll add the clip I want to use as a PIP window onto AV Track 2. And again, resize it by clicking on the Scale Mode icon and dragging the nodes to my desired size. Now click on Editor, then select Properties. First, I'm going to quickly add a border to the PIP window by scrolling down to Border, then adjusting the width to 7, and then choosing my desired color. And now we'll turn on keyframing by clicking the diamond icon. I'll drag the playhead on the timeline to the end of the video, and then click and drag the overlay to the upper left-hand corner. Now when we press play, you'll see the PIP window moves from the bottom right-hand corner to the upper left-hand corner as the video plays. Now I want to try something more advanced, so I'm going to right-click on the overlay track on the timeline and select Reset Properties. I want this PIP window to go from full screen and shrink to the middle of the screen and then move across to the left. I'll drag the playhead to the middle of the video. Then I'll turn on keyframing again. Then I'll drag on the nodes on the preview pane and shrink the size of the PIP window and position it to the center. Now I'll drag the playhead towards near the end of the video and click and drag the overlay to the left. If we press play to preview, you'll see how the image shrinks into the middle of the video clip and then moves to the left. 
these are a few of the ways you can enhance your videos by adding advanced picture-in-picture -picture effects. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Pinnacle Studio.